Taylor, well, while this 57-year-old raceway here in Palm Beach County is going to close its gates for the last time this weekend, the memories here are going to live on for generations, but tomorrow is a very sad day for many in the local racing community. Thomas Brown, a drag racer at Palm Beach International Raceway, says he's heartbroken that this weekend is the last big event here at the track. That I'm not going to be able to take my kids to this track where I used to go when I was a kid and I've been going my whole life. And it's heartbreaking because I wanted them to follow in my footsteps. I want to cry. Madeline Marconi has been coming to the raceway her whole life, even meeting her fiance here. But I've always been, you know, there just behind the cars, just supporting my family who loves to do it so much. It's priceless, really. So you can't really put a price on that. Track supporters say there will be a heavy impact on businesses as well. The owner of Murray's Speed and Custom in West Palm Beach is expecting his sales to go down dramatically. 24 plugs, four different uh, packs of jets and uh, can of juice. Once the raceway closes. Those people that would um, normally be racing every weekend aren't going to be racing every weekend. So they're, don't, they're not going to break, not going to break, don't need fuel, don't need nitrous, won't need as many parts. The owners of the raceway are selling the property to a company called Portman Industrial, which will demolish the track and build a two million square foot warehouse facility in its place. Neither the buyers nor the owners, IRG Sports and Entertainment, have responded to our requests for a comment. The first set of plans were recently rejected by the Palm Beach County Zoning Commission, and the commission will hear Portman's updated plans in a meeting in September. People like Madeline, Thomas, and Mark plan to be there to make their voices heard. We are going to be there in full force, you know, opposing the application for many reasons. Racetrack supporters say once this raceway closes, they're going to have to drive more than two hours to get to the nearest racing event in Florida. And the last lap event starts here tomorrow at 11 a.m. and lasts throughout the day until 8 in the evening. Reporting live from the Palm Beach International Raceway, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.